Today we are looking at the Zoom G1X4. It is a multi-FX processor. It has a few really nice features on it. Setup is very simple on the G1X4. Let's take a look at the back of it. So your left is for your guitar cable. And I'm using the uh, Pig Hog cable. I love those cables. You can hook up a external audio device using this aux uh, jack right here. Like, let's say you have a cell phone or an MP3 player, you can hook it up directly into this. This one right here, this is a mini USB port. You can hook this up directly to a computer or anything uh, that uses USB. And right here, you can either hook up to a to an amplifier or a set of headphones and you can even go into a DAW. So in order to activate the tuner, you need to press down both foot switches at the same time and that will activate the tuner. Just pluck your string and it'll tell you about how close you are to being in tune. Now, my one issue with uh, the tuner feature on this is it, it can be a little, a little sensitive. You might be best in some situations um, to use a snark or another clip-on type of tuner. Um, but of course, if you don't have one, that's fine. This will do just fine. Main thing is after after tuning, just check your tuning by playing a few chords and just make sure it sounds in tune. So, um, and of course, go back to uh, your presets. Hold both buttons down again. Now it has a uh, rhythm section, and uh, in order to activate that, press that button. And this starts it, this stops it, left one is played, right one is stopped, and um, you can change the drum pattern by using this knob. Yes, it even has a metalcore one. And if you want to go crazy with it, you can change the BPM. So there's your metalcore at 225 beats per minute. How fast can it go? Who knows? Let's see. Oh, 250? Let's go back to 100. Boots, cats, boots, cats. <laughs> okay, we're having, boy, we're having fun with this. Let's, let's go to a rock beat. And if you just want straight fours, just 
straight quarter notes. You can set it to guide. That's perfectly fine too. And uh, let's see here. So you do have a uh, looper section. And uh, what you would do is activate that. And whenever you um, want to record a loop, this would activate the record. And you would uh, record your riff. Hit stop when you're done. Be sure you have your looper activated. And then you press the left foot pedal for record. And eventually, if um, if you play all the way through, it'll just start playing on its own. If you're not happy with it, either before the timer runs out, you can hit stop and it'll cancel, or you can hold the stop button and clear it and re record. <laughs>
and this has uh, this already has 40 presets so you already have a nice uh, variety of tones to use from and I'll go through all the different presets in a future video but for each one of these buttons it represents 10 presets and the last 10 you get to make your own and of course uh, these uh, different knobs right here they control your EQ the volume of each preset we will go through this and we're going to go through the um, Elisa SSR 16 as well there's benefits to both pieces of equipment but that's it for now